Michigan is now the worst COVID-19 hotspot in the country. Data from the state shows the number of COVID-19 patients climbed nearly 50% in the last month. Emily Cohen hears from infectious disease experts tonight at our local hospitals about what they are seeing. We've been on a continuous uptrend since July, but in the last week, week and a half, it's shot through the roof. So we're having, you know, what I'm calling a surge on top of an uptrend. Director of Infectious Disease Research, Dr. Matthew Sims with Beaumont Health tells me he's seeing a major uptick in COVID-19 hospitalizations, especially in the past week and a half or so. It's mostly unvaccinated, but there are definitely some vaccinated people who have broken through. Dr. Sims says Beaumont Hospital is tight, but it's not the lack of open beds or PPE that's taking a toll on them right now. It's the kind of thing that wears on the staff over time. Um, you know, we're, we're all tired. We're all trying to do our best for our patients, um, but it, uh, it's not easy. There's many reasons Michigan and is the hot spot. Dr. Sim says right now it's all about the weather. The Southern states surge when it gets really hot and people have to go indoors because of the, uh, the heat to get into air conditioning. The northern states surge when it gets really cold and people have to go indoors for the heat. But why Michigan and not Ohio or Pennsylvania? No mandates is part of it. I think that our, you know, our vaccination rates have been a bit under the average for the rest of the country. I think that a lot of people who went and got the vaccine early now need booster shots. The Michigan Department of Health reports the state is also dealing with a flu outbreak. Dr. Sims highly recommends everyone get both their COVID-19 and flu vaccines for the best protection. Reporting in Michigan, Emily Cohen, WTOL 11. And we did reach out to a handful of other Michigan health facilities to get their take on the COVID-19 spike. If those facilities choose to respond to us, we'll be sure to include what they are experiencing as well in a future report. Jeff.